Good afternoon, I'm Stefano Grinot from the University of Verona. I would like to thank you for the really appreciated invitation. And during this small uh, short presentation, we will see how to optimize the outcome of through the needle biopsy of pancreatic cystic lesions. Uh, the first point I would like to discuss is uh, when through the needle biopsy is really useful. And to understand this point, we must keep in mind that pancreatic cysts can be divided in two big groups, IPMNs and other cysts. Uh, this uh, classification is really important because IPMN are usually managed according to their morphology, particularly according to the presence of high-risk cyst matter or worsen features. Differently, other cysts are usually managed according to their yeast type. And uh, the first question that arises uh, in our mind is, how can we uh, divide the cyst in these two groups before sampling? Uh, but if you look um, uh, at international guideline, you can find at least two really able features that can be recognized before sampling. The first one is multifocality, which is present for in IPMN in 25-41% of cases. And the second one is the communication with pancreatic ducts that can be recognized in about 70% of cases um, in, uh, on MRI, but also can be demonstrated on uh, US with a sensitivity of about 89%. Another important point is that, especially for other cysts, there is a risk of inappropriate resection, which is not neglectable. In particular, in, particular in this study, there is uh, a rate of misdiagnosed cyst of 21%, and um, other cystic lesions were even non-neoplastic in 43% of cases. Therefore, the clinical and radiologic diagnosis uh, of pancreatic cyst is often inaccurate. And similar results were also reported in this other study from Mayo Clinic, where there was an in incorrect preoperative diagnosis in about 30% of cases. Uh, this is an example of four similar pancreatic cysts, unilocular, uh, but uh, their uh, histotype is completely different. For example, this one is a serous cystadenoma. This one is a mucinous cystadenoma that require resection. This one is a pancreatic neuroendocrine tumor, which also required uh, resection. And this one is a squamoid cyst that cannot be resected. Uh, another two examples of two large unilocular uh, pancreatic cyst in two uh, young females uh, with a cyst in the body or in the tail of the pancreas. The morphology is similar. So according to the morphology, we cannot be sure about um, patient's management. Uh, we cannot indicate a resection. But um, after the um, Moray microforceps uh, results, you can see that uh, it, it is completely clear, clear how to manage this patient. In fact, in the first cases, we found a fibrous wall with a flat cuboidal uh, epithelium with also small vessels inside um, that are typical of serocystadenoma. In the second case, we found a completely different histologic um, uh, results. Particularly, there is a very high cellulated, hypercellulated stroma, and these cells in the stroma are positive for uh, estrogen and progesterone at the immunohistochemical staining, so leading a diagnosis of mucinous cystadenoma. So move forward to the second point, tips and tricks of uh, through the needle biopsy. First of all, you have to choose your target. In this case, we choose um, this uh, thick net 
uh, septum, you have to aspirate some fluid to reduce the cyst tension, but also to gain some clean fluid for analysis. After that, you must gently push the moray macroforceps on the target and slowly close the valves. You must also sometimes pull the uh, microforceps off strongly, but uh, don't forget to hold firmly the needle handle to avoid the risk of get out of the lesions. Uh, moreover, you can also perform a standard FNA if indicated. And uh, most importantly, don't forget to empty the cyst. The third point is how to handle your specimens. This is a very important point to me. And as I used to say, you must keep in mind that your specimens are like small gold seeds. It is, uh, your specimens are really precious. And this is how we handle the specimens in Verona. We put a small piece of tissue between two small paper discs, the blue one you can see in these pictures, like sandwich. And then we put the sandwich inside uh, a gauze uh, envelope and then in formalin. Um, with this um, uh, methodology, uh, you are sure you are going not to lose your uh, small piece of tissue uh, into the paraffin block or during the histological processing. And it is also uh, crucial to process the specimens one by one. As you can see in this picture, if you put more than one uh, piece of tissue into the same paraffin block, when you uh, cut the paraffin block, you are going to lose a lot of tissue, a lot of uh, small piece of tissue um, in the um, slides you eventually um, obtain. Differently, if you use, uh, if you process a single piece of tissue in a paraffin block, you are going to optimize your slides and you can use all the slides for immunohistochemical staining. And I suggest you to read uh, this very uh, nice paper from the group of Copenhagen, uh, where you can find how to um, handle and process uh, your uh, through the needle biopsy uh, specimens according to the presence of epithelium and stroma or only stroma without epithelium or only epithelium without stroma. Uh, the last point uh, I would like to discuss is probably the most important uh, and concerned uh, through the needle biopsy related adverse events. We know that uh, adverse events um, range between 7 and 10% in different meta-analyses. And the most worrisome adverse events is acute pancreatitis. Uh, so through the needle biopsy, adverse events represent a concern among physicians. And also a fatal event was described in a recent prospective study. Um, in this study, uh, which is a prospective one including 101 patients with cysts larger than 15 millimeter, the primary outcome was change in clinical management after uh, through the needle biopsy. Diagnostic yield was higher for through the needle biopsy compared with cytology, but through the needle biopsy led to a change in clinical management only in 12% of cases with about 9% of adverse events um, uh, generally acute pancreatitis of which three severe and one fatal so the perception is that through the needle biopsy is not so useful and is also dangerous but uh, if you look at the patient's selection you can see that three had already high risk stigmata Worrisome feature was pressed only in 70% of cases, and 40% of cysts were multifocal. 
so likely to be IPMN, which are, as I said before, usually managed according to morphology rather than, rather than histology. All adverse events occurred in IPMN, and the fatal event occurred in an 85, so really old uh, man, and the cyst was not completely aspirated. So to better understand this point, we performed this retrospective study, including all consecutive patients um, underwent the TMB at 10 high volume centers. We classified uh, adverse events according to the ASG lexicon and predictable variables were analyzed uh, by unimultivate uh, regression and logistic regression analysis and also the relevance of each predictor was ranked through permutation of variable values. Uh, we then performed a recursive partitioning analysis to classify patients in risk groups, and we internally validated the model using the bootstrap resampling. Um, we included more than 500 cases, and uh, as you can see, age, the number of through the needle passes, the complete aspiration of the cyst, uh, and the final diagnosis of IPMN were associated with adverse events. So recursive partitioning analysis um, allows us to uh, classify patients in three risk groups. Patients with IPMN sampled with more than one through the needle biopsy passes were at higher risk of adverse events, 28%. Differently, patients with other cysts sampled with less than two uh, biopsy uh, and completely aspirated and uh, young, so uh, less than 64 years old, were at very low risk of adverse events. So patient selection is really important. So in conclusion, through the needle biopsy is really useful because it's the only one available preoperative tool um, that allow us to obtain a piece of tissue for cyst uh, um, histotype definition. Diagnostic accuracy is significantly higher than cyst cytology, um, cyst fluid cytology, but we must optimize specimens processing, handling, and we must collaborate with our pathologists to uh, optimize the outcome. There is a higher risk of adverse events. This is true, but um, we now know that uh, patients can be classified in three risk groups, uh, mainly according to their uh, diagnosis. So patient selection is really crucial to optimize the clinical impact uh, of through the needle biopsy and reduce the risk of adverse events. Through the needle biopsy should be avoided in patients with presumed IPMN, but we, um, we must not forget that it is extremely useful when the cyst is of unknown nature because we can know the cyst histotype and the nature of the cyst. And um, the procedure is safe if performed in cysts that not communicate with the main pancreatic duct, that are sampled with two or less macroforceps passes, and that are completely aspirated. Thank you very much for your attention.